Hey everyone, it's Mojax, back in the DJ City UK lab. RCF have been in the loudspeaker game for many, many years, and lots of you watching this will be familiar with their art series of cabinets because they've been around a long time as well, various different iterations since 1996. Here we have the Art 9 series, brand new, just announced. Now this is going to be a first look today for two reasons. Firstly, I've only just got this thing, you know, a few days ago. That's not long enough to do a full review. And secondly, I've only got one. And I feel like, you know, if I'm going to review this product, I really need to review a pair of them. And they just don't have enough units for that in the UK at the time of making this video. So I will be coming back for a full review on these later on because, yeah, lots of interesting stuff under the hood, lots to talk about. So let's get to it. If you're at all familiar with the previous models in the art series, then the look of this new one might surprise you a little. It retains the molded body type, a hallmark of the art series since day one, but now features a steel grill across the whole front rather than just over the woofer. This looks very clean and professional indeed. Anecdotally, I've heard that not everyone was into the older designs, which also featured more prominent branding. And to that end, the 9 series also features a stealthy black on black logo too. I don't have access to pricing for the whole range at this time, but the 12-inch model I've had my hands on, the Art 912A, has a suggested retail price of about $800 in the US, which is a bit higher than the previous 7 series. I'd imagine that will be the case across the line. Street prices may vary though. It weighs in at just under 42 pounds or 19 kilograms and so is reassuringly heavy without being too restrictive for mobile work. The heaviest model in the line, the 935A, weighs in at around 53 pounds so none of them are excessively heavy. A practical benefit of that full grille, as well as the introduction of a newly designed embrace element, means that the 9 series should be significantly stiffer and sturdier than older models, whilst retaining the PP composite construction. All models feature M10 installation points as well as a top hat, so they can be flown, wall mounted or used on stands, whatever your preference. The composite rubber hand grips are ergonomic and comfortable too. Connections are nice and simple with a combo balanced XLR and jack socket for input and an XLR output for pass through. There are just three presets, linear, boost and stage with the latter designed for use when the speaker is being used as a wedge monitor. And beyond that, there are LEDs for signal, overload and a volume control. Power is handled by a standard IEC connector aside from on the 945A which has power con in and out. That's the model which is really designed for big touring applications. There are six models in the 9 series. A single 10 inch, the 910A, two 12s and a whopping three 15s. Interestingly, they all feature the exact same power section, offering 2100 watts peak, 1400 watts for the low end and 700 for the high end. And yet, the max SPL or sound pressure level goes higher as you go up the range. This might sound confusing at first, but it's actually all about the size of the drivers and not just the woofers. Note, what really makes the difference is the compression drivers for the top end. For example, the 912A has a 12 inch woofer with a 1.75 inch compression driver and the 932A features a much bigger 3 inch compression driver and those larger drivers also feature some different tech based around the Captain polyamide material. The crossover point for the 912A is 1800 Hz and on the 932A it is 700 Hz, meaning the compression driver handles a lot more frequencies and therefore the overall perceived loudness goes up along with offering improved clarity in the mid-range. The actual SPL goes up from 130 dB to 132, which doesn't sound like much, but don't forget that sound pressure level is logarithmic, so that's actually a pretty significant increase. On the real big boy of the series, the 15 inch 945A, it has a massive 4 inch compression driver and the crossover point goes down to just 650 hertz and that one kicks out 135 dB. To get the best out of a bigger compression driver, you need a good waveguide and that's changed significantly over older models with what RCF call their true resistive waveguide. Combined with a repositioning of the reflex ports, that's designed to offer wider dispersion and reduce high frequency distortion. The specs suggest coverage of up to 60 degrees vertically and 100 degrees horizontally. They've also considered the low end too and with the 9 series, RCF have redesigned their main drivers to work alongside the DSP in the 2 channel Class D amp to 
to produce what they call base motion control, which reduces potentially harmful over excursion of the driver without needing to use high pass filtering or limiting. This and their fur phase processing is the kind of stuff I just can't test without taking a pair of speakers out and about, but it does promise to offer very high end performance. I'll also be comparing notes with my buddy Nick Spinelli over in the US. He's big into RCF and has a great handle on how speakers perform in those real life mobile DJ situations. So there you go, a first look at the new ART 9 series from RCF. Of course, I can't pass any judgment on the sound. Playing some stuff through one of them here in the lab, not really going to do the job. They need to be heard in their native environment in a nice big room, turned up loud with a pair. So then I'll be able to actually kind of figure out what the sound is like. But there's a lot of technology inside these, a lot of changes to the design, which do promise to give excellent sound. And I can say the design and the build quality already i can say that's just really really nice these feel very modern very contemporary and very professional and i look forward to giving them some proper testing out in the field so make sure you come back for that one later on in the year thanks for watching today make sure you subscribe for all our future tips tricks and product reviews i'll see you soon